Exact Track 4D detects dangerous weather days ahead of time so you can make the right plans for your family. Well, welcome back. And the good news is the heat advisory that was in effect for some of our, our southeast Georgia counties and northeast Florida counties was set to expire at 7 p.m. It has now been dropped, and therefore it's way out west of I-75 now. But we are tracking some storms for you right now through this area here of southeast Georgia. Just some heavy downpours at times and could see some gusty winds along with these. We're not seeing anything severe developing through this area here through Keystone Heights, interlocking. You guys might get some of this rain through Penny Farms as well. But those storms are dying off before they even reach I-95 due to the sea breeze. And look at this. I mean, it's windy out at the beaches right now with a gusty wind at 15. Feeling like 91, though, in St. Augustine with the temperature still in the mid 80s. All right, here's a look across the area. As far as our temperatures are concerned, the winds are helping to keep any rain, any clouds really off the beaches and along I-95. So temperatures are dropping inland from those early storms, but the heat is still a factor. That feels like temperature. That heat index is still up there in the triple digits through Green Cove Springs right now at 106, still feeling like 100 in McClenny. It's gone back up now that those rains have moved out of that way. All right, tropical storm barrel. This is what we're watching closely as we keep an eye on Texas right now. It's going to become a, a, a category one storm Sunday overnight at 2 a.m. Now the storm, I've looked at a bunch of different models and it looks like it's going to land hit land sometime between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. on Monday morning north of Corpus Christi. So in this area here of Texas. So really keeping an eye on that for you. The wind swath here, it's rather large. So the effects will be felt throughout Texas up into Houston, even into Austin and San Antonio as it makes this turn to the north and to kind of to the east. It's going to move into Texarkana, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas. So we're going to be watching that for you, of course. Nothing brewing in the Atlantic. That's the great news. All right, tonight temperatures will drop back down into the upper 70s. It's going to be muggy out there. That heat is really still going to be a factor throughout the evening. You're going to feel it all night long and into tomorrow. Now we are expecting tomorrow a little more, well, not as hot, and they're not expecting any heat advisories to be put in place tomorrow, but we'll still have that 100 degree feel like temperature throughout the day on Sunday and more widespread rain across the area. It's not going to be a total washout. And then we will have the temperature kind of drop back down to normal by the beginning of the week.